Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a haul video. Yay, it's been a while since I filmed a haul. I picked up some uh, products from TJ Maxx. I actually found some Pat McGrath products there. I picked up a couple things from Ulta, some new lippies, um, and I also picked up a couple things from Sephora, some of the new products, some new brands to Sephora that I was really interested in trying. And I have a massive amount of samples from both Ulta and Sephora. I will have these towards the end of the video because that's a lot of samples. Um, if you like haul videos, please keep on watching. Give this one a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, now let's go ahead and get started. I guess I'll get started with the stuff I picked up from Ulta. Um, I didn't get too many products. And then we'll move on to Sephora. And then we do TJ Maxx and samples. Let's do it. All right, the first thing I picked up from Ulta is a blush. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. I did see these floating around um, uh, on YouTube. <laughs> my son is sick, so there he is. Yeah, my son has been sick for a couple days, so he's at home. He's right here with me, so please excuse that. If you see him or you hear him, he's in there. Anyway, uh, Essence Blush, Pure Nude Baked Blush, and I picked up the shade Pretty Peach. Um, I haven't swatched any of these products yet. I did get this one because I kept seeing it floating around on YouTube, like on everybody's thumbnail. I'm like, okay, this looks interesting. Um, okay, there it is, swatched right there. Let's move on, more stuff from Ulta. Oh, what else did I get? I kind of went a little bit lip crazy. I The rest of the stuff that I got from Ulta are all lip products, but I did, oh, I picked up the NYX uh, Fat Oil Lip Drip and I got the shade Supermodel. Um, these looked really interesting to me. They seem to be like maybe similar to the Dior lip oil. I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, so there's that one. Uh, from uh, CoverGirl. They also have some new lip glosses, you guys. These are the Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss. I got two. I was interested in more than two shades. I had to narrow it down to two because I knew the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty was coming up. Um, the two shades that I picked up, one is in the shade... Oh, uh, what's this one? You're Just Jelly. And then the other one is in the shade coconuts about you let's go ahead and do swatches of these i'm gonna swatch these and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch that lip oil by nyx so we can see mm, they smell so good that smells so yummy okay very glossy i guess i i think i was expecting a little bit of a color but no color just gloss which is fine I don't mind it, it smells really, really yummy. And then the other one, which is the darker one, the You're Just Jelly. Let's give that guy a shot. Mm, it smells really good too. It smells a little bit different than the first one. This has a little bit more of a pink tint to it. But yeah, me and glosses. Got a problem. And let's go ahead and try the next one as well, because, well, why not? Wait, that's. Hmm, the doe foot applicator on it reminds me quite a bit of the one from Lawless. It's kind of the same applicator. And there it is, down here. Okay. From CoverGirl, I also picked up their new, maybe it's new, this is the Priming Globe Mist. 8 hour hydration. It is true clean cactus water. Um, this is from the Clean Fresh line. Man, these things like cover goals got so expensive. I want to say this was $16. Like, you know, drugstore prices are going up there, getting up there. Um, I have used one cover girl product like a setting spray from them before and i really really liked it so i hope that this one would be good although this is a priming mist glow mist which is i'm okay with i love priming waters okay i picked up another lippy and this is from flower beauty this is the plump up gloss stick these reminded me a lot of the uh um tarte maracuja product which again is going to be on Ulta sale and i'm going to pick up a couple shades so um, what shade did I get? I got the shade... Where's the shade? Sizzle. Okay. Clickety, clicky pen. Okay. Came up, finally. Hmm. 
Not what I expected, to be honest. It's down here, all the way at the bottom. I thought it would be more similar to the maracuja. Maybe on the lips will be. We'll see. Two more lippies, and these are from Revlon. I think these are new from, from Revlon. Not Came out not that long ago. Um, I picked up one red and one nude. So let's go ahead and do swatches of these. These are the Colorstay Suede Ink. Reminded me quite a bit of the NARS, the Power Matte ones. I don't know why, but the look of these online reminded me of the um, NARS ones. The first shade, which is the red one, is in the shade First Class. I got a dog behind me and a kid behind me. This is... Welcome. Welcome to the life of moms. Okay. Here's the red. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on my hand because... Ooh, well, I guess it's more berry-ish than red. I thought it was going to be red-red. It does not feel anything like the NARS one, but that's a beautiful color. Ooh, that's pretty. And then the other shade that I picked up is in the shade Gut Instinct. And this is more um, of a uh, pinky nude. Okay, and here's that nude. Ooh, this is a beautiful nude. Woohoo! Wow, okay. I'm looking forward to trying these out, you guys. I think I haven't tried Revlon lip colors in quite some time, if ever. Hmm, interesting. It's been a really long time since I've used Revlon lip piece. So, here's that. That's everything I picked up from Ulta. All right, let's move on to the products I picked up from Sephora. I do have quite a bit of products in here. There's some new things um, that I've seen on Sephora's website and I was like, ooh, this looks interesting. I really want to try this. So I ended up doing it this time. Um, the first thing I picked up is by Kelly Ray. This is the Surf Proof Setting Spray. Um, clean, hydrating, and long wear. This looked really interesting to me. I, I hope that it actually works pretty well as a a, a setting spray maybe <laughs> we'll have to see how well it works i mean if it's surf proof can i get in the water with it i wouldn't do that but anyways <laughs> yeah there she is surf proof by cali ray um setting spray another product by cali ray that i also saw online i was like this looks so good i really would be interested in trying that this is the highlight beach gleamy hybrid feels highlighter and I got the shade Starlight Beach, which is cool champagne highlight. Was there another shade? I want to say maybe there were two shades of this product and I picked up the lighter shade. This thing is pretty big. I love the packaging. It's so cute. Look how big this highlighter is. And it looks like it's going to be a blinding highlighter. Ooh, okay. I touched too much. I touched too much. Uh, and my hand and arm is completely stained from swatches of the lippies let me try one more time to dry my arm see look at my hand she's stained um let's do a swatch of that highlighter i guess i'll do that here Ooh, that is really pretty looks like it's gonna be very blinding on the pinky side it's very pretty very very pretty got a couple more products from sephora um i picked up from house labs i i it was kind of obvious i was gonna pick one or two up of these i'm waiting for the sephora sale to get the shade was it watermelon this is the pomelo peach um the blush <sighs> you guys i could not resist now i get up i gotta get that tool i gotta get a tool to open this baby super reflective i like that the packaging is different the the bronzer is bronzy the highlighters are white and kind of like uh got a dual chrome look how pretty this is oh my gosh this is like the perfect shade of peach Ooh, the formula feels really nice too there it is oh, i cannot wait to play with this Okay, more blush. I picked up another blush and this is from Vanessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin 
Blurring Balm Powder uh, Flushed, called Flushed. And I picked up the shade Bellini. Um, I have not opened it yet, but I have ripped the, the clear plastic that was on here. It's cute packaging. It's like a, ooh, hoo, 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 that looks so pretty, you guys. Oh, okay. Ooh, that feels really balmy. Ooh, okay. All right. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. <gasps> Cannot wait to use this on my face. Why did I say... I thought it said powder. Does it... Does it... It doesn't feel powdery after blending it. Yeah? Blurring Balm Powder Flushed for face and lip. Interesting. Um, is It felt just creamy, like a balm. I guess it kind of feels a little powdery now on my finger. Anyways, um, we got a couple more from Tower 28, the Soft Contour Cream. I could not resist. Um, this looked matte, unlike their other bronzini, whatever they call them, uh, bronzers that they came out with. These are matte, and this shade looks so pretty. This is the shade Getty. I think that this would be a really good shade match for me, or it would work for my skin tone. Go ahead and show you this. I believe these are new too. They were still under the new area on Sephora's website. I do want to swatch it. Okay, it's uh, it's a different formula. I was worried that the formula would be very much like their um, blush formula, which is super emollient. This is still emollient, but not as much. There it is at the bottom. I think that would be a perfect shade for my for me for my skin tone. Okay, we got from Kulfi. I think that's how you say it, Kulfi. This is the main match concealer. I saw a couple things from this brand that I was really interested in, but I decided to go ahead with the concealer. It's been a while since I picked up a new concealer. And I picked up the shade Coco Crush. Never settle for anything less than your main match. So we'll have to see how this looks. A lot of the shades that they have on their website, I believe are targeted more for like medium to deep skin tone. Um, so we'll see if this will be a good match for me. It looks like it might be a good match and I hope to really enjoy it. There wasn't that many reviews on Sephora's website, but it's all right. We'll see how it is. Another brand to Sephora is the Amy Cole. Cole? Cole? I don't know. This is the lip treatment oil and I picked up the shade Smitten. There were a couple of shades in this line. Um, I went with this one and this also looked... Oh, how beautiful this red lip gloss is or lip oil lip oil lip oil that looks so pretty cannot wait to use it if I didn't have any lippies on I would have tried it right now see a lot of lippies a lot of blushes I did pick up a blush mini which was like the free gift with purchase if you spend $25 you use the code and I picked up the orgasm X blush I do have Orgasm, which is a mini, was probably got it the same way or a gift with purchase. Um, but the Orgasm X has been on my list because I feel like that's a shade that I would be able to wear more. I do want to swatch it. I'm not including it in the samples because it's a blush sample is a huge sample. That's so pretty. Looks better than their original Orgasm, in my opinion. My very humble opinion. And the last thing I got from Sephora, oh, you guys, the Dominique Cosmetics, the Essential Palette. I could not help it. Um, I'm kind of irked that they have they have this on here. It's like, what if this doesn't work for me and I need to return it? Why is it blacked out like this? Or was this supposed to be a free gift and you're giving it to me, selling it to me? I don't know. But anyways, the palette looks so pretty. I do really like the packaging. It's very... Um, it's plastic, a sturdy plastic, kind of like the Huda Beauty packaging, and it is magnetic, so that's pretty cool. But look at these shades. Oh my goodness. This is a dream for me. A dream, a dream come true palette. The Essentials palette for sure. It looks so pretty. And I do like the um, Dominique Cosmetics formula. I hope that I would really enjoy this one as well. There are a few samples that I got from Sephora as well, and I traded in some points, so we'll I'll talk about these a little bit later. Let's go ahead and talk about the products that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I got some hair care product. 
um, which I'm not going to mention in this video, but I will go ahead and talk about the makeup that I picked up at TJ Maxx. All right, so from TJ Maxx, you guys, I was actually surprised to be able to find these in store. I picked up the Pat McGrath Labs um, Divine Blush and Glow Cheek Palette, which is originally, I can't remember how much she was selling it for, 50 something dollars. I picked it up for 20. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I do like that they finally started sealing the products because there's nothing worse than seeing something at TJ Maxx and you're like, oh my God, this would be amazing. This would be perfect. And it just destroyed because everybody opened it and touched it. So I do like the fact that they sealed it this way. And I don't know if they did that for, or they do that now for all of their makeup products or was it just because of these ones? Um, but this one, I, I was really interested in it when I saw it just because it has quite a few of the blushes in here um, in a beautiful highlighter, which I think is the same highlighter, the Nude Nectar. Um, I, I think she sells it individually and I might have it individually, but having everything in here was just seemed like a, you know, I know, no brainer. I needed it. I absolutely needed it. Those blushes look so pretty. Let me see the names of them. This look like maybe it was still touched, but um, so it's got Desert Orchid 2, which is great because I have the first Desert Orchid. It's got Divine Rose, Peony Rose, Electric Bloom, and Nude Nectar. Pretty sure I have Nude Nectar as a single as well. Divine Rose. Do I have Divine Rose? Now I have to look. Nope, I do not have Divine Rose, so at least I don't have any of these blushes. Woohoo! Um, more from Pat McGrath, and I found these again at TJ Maxx. Uh, the five pan eyeshadow palettes that she released the same time as that collection. We've got Celestial Nirvana eyeshadow palette, and this is the Nude Allure. And I actually found both of them, and this is the Bronze Bliss. These are also sealed, so let me go ahead and open them up. All right, so this one is, what is it? This is the Nude Allure. For being a Nude Allure, I would have thought it would have more nude shades in it, but this looks so, so pretty, you guys. It looks stunning. It looks like it's gonna be the same formula as her Star Wars eyeshadow palettes, like the five pan ones. So there's that one. And then the last one, which is the Bronze Bliss or the second one. See, this is why I think they were opened or maybe they opened them to put these on them, but it's got a sticker on it on the back. Okay. Doesn't look touched. Ooh, that's beautiful. This is the Bronze Bliss. Again, not how I would expect a Bronze Bliss eyeshadow palette to look like, um, maybe. The one bronzy shade in here. I do want to swatch it. Um, if you watch Stop, Shop My Stash videos, these will be pulled in at some point. There it is. My hand is a little stained. That's so pretty. I'm really happy to have been like to have found these at um, TJ Maxx. The eyeshadow palettes they were selling them for $14.99 at TJ Maxx. Can't remember how much. Uh, like when she released them, how much she sold them for. Um, so this is all for makeup products that I picked up. I did pick up a couple hair care products from Ulta. Um, if you're curious about these, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a haul about that. I did also get a couple hair products from TJ Maxx. So if you're really curious about what I picked up hair product wise, let me know. Let's go ahead and talk about the samples. That was a lot of samples, you guys. Okay, when I said it was a lot of samples, I was not joking around. This is a ton of samples. Um, I think one of the orders I placed at Ulta, it was um, National Lash Day. So they had two different lash, like lash freebies. Um, another time they had maybe a 16 piece freebie thing. Um, if you spend a certain amount, that's when I picked up my hair products. If you're curious again about the hair products, let me know. And I also traded um, some rewards at um, Sephora, like those 100 points to get these rewards. We'll go ahead and get started with the stuff from uh, Sephora because it wasn't really that many things. Um, the first one is some Briogeo samples, Don't Despair Repair Shampoo, Conditioner, and Mask. 
Um, I also selected the K18 Biometric Hair Science. Um, I have the full size of this one. This is um, a three mil. Uh, five mil which is I can't remember the full size I want to say is 30 maybe so this is a really good deal I traded the 100 points for this one and I could get three uses out of this guy because I had one of these before and I got three uses out of it it's really good for repairing damaged hair from bleach and all that the other thing that I traded my points for is the Olaplex the number nine the bond protective protector nourishing hair serum just trying to bring some health back to my hair I also traded some points for the BB curl defining cream uh, this is by Bumble and Bumble I'm curious I'm really interested to see how this is gonna be uh, I also <laughs> I traded some points for Guerlain um, Aqua Allegoria this is Mandarin Basilique little perfume sample uh, I hope I enjoy this and there's nothing worse than Ooh, look how cute oh my goodness that's a very cute little bottle and then just normal samples I got um, Juliette has a gun not a perfume a favorite I picked up milk makeup hydro grip primer look how tiny that is and Burberry her perfume sample okay so that's all these samples and like reward points from Sephora from Ulta, oh my goodness, quite a bit. Let's get started with the lash products, the, the freebies that I got during that lash day event. Um, so lots of mascaras and lots of lashes will all probably be passing on to somebody, some friends. Uh, one is by Eyelure. This is the Lux, Lux XL Foam Mink lashes um i was interested more in a different lash kit like lash freebie gift that sold out so i was like okay i'll take this one the other one had less lashes fake lashes in it which i haven't been wearing them but i'm kind of interested like these look so pretty this is by nyx and this is the jumbo lash but these look so so pretty i wonder if we can get uh, an image no nope, it's not gonna work because they're hidden behind the writing and then the last one, which is something like, oh my gosh, I cannot wear this. Um, this is the by Ardell, the Big Beautiful Lashes, Voluptuous Volume. Um, <laughs> I think it's Miha, maybe Miha BBL. I don't know what's BBL. Big bold lashes, maybe. Those are huge. I can't wear this. I would have to trim them a lot. Yeah but that's pretty cool freebies now for mascaras i got another one of the milani um, anti-gravity mascara i've used one of these before it's a decent mascara um, i like it i'm not a big fan of the brush itself i uh, got a make it big this is mascara by morphe never tried that and i don't know that i'm actually interested i might pass that on to a friend uh, from Pacifica, this is the Activist Volume and Curl Mascara. I didn't even know that Pacifica has mascara, and this is a full size. Um, we also have, what do we have? Oh my goodness, this is one that I was super excited for. Is this the one I was, there was like two Grande products I was excited for. This is the Lash Enhancing Serum. Yes, this is the one I was really excited for. You know, I love the Grande Lash MD Serum. It's amazing. This is by Rapid Glam, and this is the world's first masker, masker, mask serum. This is serum, mascara, and primer, all in one. Okay, there's a lash applicator. There is a Urban Decay Perversion Mascara Mini. There is an uh, e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. I do really like this one. I do have it in full size. There are two big bang bad gal mascaras i do really like these as well these are by benefit um we've got a clinique high impact mascara which is probably going either straight to the trash or somebody i don't like these from clinique at all there's a lancome seal booster xl and then there is the last thing is a lash purify eye makeup remover and lash cleanser this is by kiss so it's make makes false lashes like new that's pretty cool 
All right, another bag of freebies. Let's go through it real quick. The first product I got is the Glow Baby Brightening Facial Mask. This is by, is the brand Glow Baby? I don't know. Could it be? I don't know. Am I crazy? No, the brand is Pacifica. Duh, it says it all the way on top. Okay, there's that. There's Bye Bye Bloat. Love Wellness. I think I had one of these before and I used it when I was PMSing. I think. Um, Grande Liner. So this is a little bit different. This is 2-in-1 Liquid Eyeliner Lash Enhancer and this is in the shade Black. I'm currently using one of these. I actually used it today. I don't find it, like, I don't know if it's actually got any serum in it. I do like how fine of a black tip it is. So here's one more. Never say no to those. Urban Decay All Nighter. Hell yeah! For travel, I love it. Vici Mineral 89. You guys know this is a makeup primer to me. It's not a serum. I use it as a makeup primer. It gives the most beautiful glowy skin. Um, we've got a Jack Black Night Mode Lip Treatment. Cool. Looks like maybe I should pass this on to my husband, but I'll probably try it myself. We got uh, Bumble and Bumble Pret A Powder Post Workout Dry Shampoo Mist. You know, I don't like dry shampoos. We've got Fusion Plex Shampoo by Wella. I love this. I used to use it a lot. I haven't purchased in a long time. I still use their mask, a hair mask, and their conditioner. So this is perfect. Um, we've got from First Aid Beauty, 10% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. You guys, if I count how many of these I have, I need like two or three months of just using these and I'm pretty sure I have enough to last me for that long. I have so many of those ones. I haven't tried them yet. I need to. Um, got a couple more samples. Ooh, this is by Cerave. This is the AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I used to love this stuff and then they changed the formula. So I haven't used it since they changed the formula. I hope I like it. We've got Smashbox Photo Finish, the correct anti-redness primer. This is something that I probably will not use. I might pass on to somebody or just leave it handy in case I have got some bad breakouts. I do have a pretty bad pimple, pimple here today. Kind of tried to hide it. We've got Mega Babe Space Bar Detoxifying Charcoal Underarm Bar. Ooh, so do I use this in the shower? It's got to be soap, right? What does it say? How do you use it? Use sunscreen, limit exposure for a week after using. It's got AHA. It's gotta be soap. It's a space bar. I don't know. I have to look it up. It's gotta be a soap bar, right? You use it under your underarm to brighten the area. Maybe. I don't know. We got Indie Lee Brightening Cream. I haven't tried this from Indie Lee before. I've tried their Q10 spray. Um, we've got a Juvia's Place. This is Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Brow Gel. Woohoo! In clear. Yes! It's not colored. That's gonna be good. We've got Idol Lash uh, Lash Lifting Mascara. This is by Lancome. I do really like this one. And then the last freebie is the Smooth Booster by Beekman. This is Willow Bark um, a a Alt BHA Resurfacing Serum. I don't know what Alt stands for, but it's a resurfacing serum. This is it. This is it for my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you're curious about the hair care products that I picked up from Ulta, I also got a couple things from TJ Maxx. Let me know in the comments below. Um, my next haul will most likely be Ulta 21 Days of Beauty products that I've been picking up every day. It's a package. Woohoo! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!